happy 70th birthday, my darling. I just wanted to say a few words and I wanted to let you know how much I love you and to say thank you for being the best husband anybody could wish for, the best father and the best stepfather. Thank you for always supporting me, for believing in me and for always having my back. I wrote a little song that I would like to sing for you now. Only joking, just wanted to make the children squirm. Anyway, have a fantastic day and there's a few more people that want to say a few words. Bye. It's the day that you were born. It's the day your mama brought you home. It's a special day. Let us celebrate. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I'm going to celebrate with you. Time to celebrate. Hi David, it's me, Nathan, AKA the favorite child. We, we all know that. Welcome to your 70th birthday video that my lovely mother, your wife, has kindly uh, worked very hard to put together for you. Although it probably wasn't that hard, was it? Funny a few people, but not compared to the usual helping off the toilet and popping your teeth in. Anyway, um, I thought I'd just make this quick video just to say, um, you know, some, mention some of the things that you've done for me over the years, some of the ways you've inspired me and everyone else and some of your career highlights. There's, there's been so many. Papa Large, happy, happy birthday. birthday. We love you so much. And thank you so much for being such a wonderful granddad and such a wonderful father and for giving me the bestest, bestest upbringing ever and for making Kaylee so happy by bringing me into the world and for making humanity so happy by bringing me into the world. What an amazing thing you've done, Mr. David Fern. Thank you so much. Happy birthday, David. Thank you for being such a great father-in-law. You're the absolute best. Um, we've had so many lovely memories together, going on lots of wonderful holidays to Egypt, Capri, Dubai. America. No. Oh, that didn't happen. No. Um, well, we did, because we went when we were really little and it was wonderful. But I've got so many amazing memories of you, Pops. So many funny things. One of them being the last big birthday where you had the queue of Egyptians queuing up to pay homage to you by bringing you presents while you were sitting on your throne. And then the, the dancers and belly dancers and everything else like that. It's amazing. You should have that every single year. And I really enjoyed our last holiday to Egypt because we all got to spend New Year's Eve together and the kids were just going crazy, having fun. Um, with their party poppers and it was really great and yeah we've got so many lovely memories together and we can't wait to make loads more and we love you so much we papa love we love you. you so much we love you we love you we love you Mwah. thank you so much for being such an amazing dad and granddad love you love you oh, God, I think that... there was that one time oh, that was something else Hi David, just a quick message to say, I hope you have a fantastic 70th. I'm back at work now, deep joy. Um, thank you for everything you've done over the years for us. Can't believe it's gone by so quickly. And more importantly, thank you for everything you've done for Suzanne. You're a super duper husband. Hope I find one like you one day. Anyway, lots of love, have a wonderful day. And hopefully we can all get to together soon for a bit of a party. Okay then, take care, bye. I have often walked down the aisle before. Phil, come over here, they're filming. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry.
sorry about that. Hello, David. Hello, Suzanne. We're here, obviously, to wish you a very happy birthday. I'm just doing what I've been doing all through lockdown, getting dressed up and having fun and singing. And anyway, the other message for you is, oh, gosh, the phone. Hang on, hang on. The phone is right in the middle. Hello? Speaking. It's the Magna Tandoori from Bognor. Yes, yes, we will be coming there as soon as lockdown's over. Yes, Mr. David and his wife are coming with us, Cupcake, yes. Oh, you haven't, oh, you haven't got Mr. David's order. I've got a copy here. Can you add then, this is for Mr. David, nine popper doms, three jugs of prawn cocktail sauce, a king prawn Danzac. Thank you. Oh, a drink. Yeah, he'll have uh, 14 pints of Diet Coke with lots of ice. Thank you. Bye. That's that sorted. Well, we've just got one more thing to say to you, David, and that is a very happy 70th to you. It's a nice day. Richard, I think. Oh, I've got to take that. Hello, Richard. Hello. Hello. I, I can't hear you. I, I can't hear you. What are you saying? I can't hear you. No, I can't hear you. I'll have to call you back. I'll call you back. Hello, David. It's your, without a doubt, favourite sister-in-law here. Um, I just wanted to wish you a very, very happy 70th birthday. Um, shame we can't all get together yet, but I'm sure we will later on in the year. Um, just have a super day. Um, thank you for everything you do for us, um, for and for loving my sister, my big sister. So have a lovely day and um, hopefully we'll see you very soon. Happy birthday. Bye. Hi. Hi. We just wanted to tell you how much we appreciate you and everything that you've done for us over the years. Yeah, your help and support has been amazing and we wouldn't be where we are now without your generosity and kindness. We've had lots of great memories with you. And I think one that sticks out the most for us is probably Capri, because we got to spend lots of quality time with you, which is rare, and that means a lot. We can't wait to make more memories with you, including Moya and her to get to know her special granddad even more. We hope you have a lovely day and you get lots of nice things which you deserve. Happy 70th Happy birthday. 70th. Maya, say love you. Love you. Good girl. Good girl. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear David, happy birthday to you. Woo, have oh, a I, lovely day. I can't believe you're 70, my little brother's 70. Oh my God. Unbelievable. He doesn't look it. He doesn't. He looks so young. He's obviously the younger brother. Indeed he is. And gorgeous. <laughs> oh, have a wonderful day. Um, sorry we can't be with you, but we will be with you soon. We certainly will. Yeah. Look forward to it. Have a lovely day. Have a lovely day. Bye, darling. Love to everybody. Bye. Bye. Hi, Grandad. Happy birthday. Hope you have a lovely day. And wow, you're really 70. You don't look it. Really? You're really? Hi, Dad. Happy birthday. Um, we hope you have a lovely day. Uh, we're looking forward to celebrating with you on the day. Let's just hope the weather's nice. Um, I can't believe you're 70, but as I said before at the football, you have really good genes, so that's a good thing. Hi, Grandad. Ha happy birthday. Hope you have a lovely day. The thing I really like it, really appreciate, is when you come and watch my football games. Hi, David. Happy birthday. I hope you have a good day and hopefully we'll be able to celebrate it with you uh, one way or another. 70. What can you say about 70? Not that much, really. It's just a number. What can you say about David Fern? Nothing. Well, nothing bad, actually. Thing is, what am I going to say about David Fern? I've had to write a few notes down, which is why my head keeps going to my notes, because it's not easy doing this shit. Um, well, I wrote down, he's a genuinely nice guy. He's respectful, a loving family man. He's generous, 
and he has a good sense of humour. Well, that's the obituary out of the way, anyway. I'm hoping we can get together at some point, enjoy a meal together, like we did whilst I spent great times living with you in your place at um, wherever it is now, I can't remember. Till then, enjoy the moment, because before you know it, you'll be even older. Oh, my God. And take care, as they say. Wear a condom. Love you both. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear David. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, David. 70 years old. Wonderful. You're a fantastic man, a great friend. Sorry we can't be with you on your special day, but we'll make up for it and uh, we'll have a wonderful time uh, really soon. And I really look forward to your 80th where we can have a huge party. And cake. And cake. See you soon. Love you. Mwah. I want to wish you happy birthday. It's your birthday today, David. Get on that party train and go over. It is your birthday too. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, David. It is your birthday. I want to wish you happy birthday. You're going to get on that party train and sing all day. Happy birthday. Choo-choo-choo. 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 Happy birthday. I'm Batman. Happy birthday, David. Hi. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hey. Shh. Happy, happy birthday, uh, Mr. David Fern. Happy birthday, David. By French, Jason. By French. Happy birthday. Yes, Sana Hello, Gamil. Yalla, Uli Uncle David. Sana Hello, Gamil. Wish you a good health, happiness. By the way, I have a great wife. She did a surprise for you. Uh, always, you know, you are our family. Always, we wish you a happy. Thank you for everything you have done for us and you're still doing. We are so happy that we are friend, family. Wish you a good health, happiness, joy with your lovely family. And happy, happy birthday, David. Happy birthday, David! Yalla, Jason. Okay. French. Happy birthday! Jennifer, yalla. Say, happy birthday, Uncle David! Yeah, yeah. Happy, happy birthday! Enjoy your day! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Granddad! Happy birthday to you! Hi David, I'm just popping by to wish you a happy birthday. Have a great day. Sorry, no party this year because Boris won't allow it. It's been many years now since you opened up Camping World in Horsham. We've had lots of great days and lots of laughs. Never thought I would still be working after so many years, but I enjoy it and that's the main thing. It's always nice to see you when you pop in. 
especially if you're carrying a brown paper packet because we all know what's in that packet who knows maybe a few more years yet but when you are planning to retire you need to tell me because then maybe that's when i'll be retiring too or will it be you or will it be me who's going to be first thanks suzanne for letting me have a little say in david's birthday celebrations have a great day and i'll see you next week hi there everyone we've been asked to um send a small tribute to David, apparently it's his uh, 70th birthday but um, we've always wondered why he's had this absolute fascination with um, Egypt Maybe because he's just a really really nice geezer You know the place with all those pharaohs? I think it's more like um, his love of the Great Pyramids which look a bit like tents and the nomadic Bedouin people, they also live in tents. I think this is what led him to his idea of a camping world. But he's got his own Cleopatra in Suzanne. Yeah, probably she was after his little asp thing. You know, that little snaky thing he's always playing with. <laughs> in Egyptian culture, birthdays are celebrated with singing and dancing, and they normally have two birthday cakes. You know, that's probably why he can't walk on water yet. Imagine eating all that cake. Well, it's not the Messiah. He's just a very, very, very naughty boy, aren't you, David? Yes, you are. You're a naughty boy. Yes, but that's a totally different culture. I've seen David look in the mirror and chant, mirror, mirror, on the wall. Who's the greatest pharaoh of them all? Yeah, I think that's enough of that now. But I think we should just sing him a... Uh, Maybe happy birthday or... Or something like that. What about if we just sing a little ditty? Yeah, that's good. Suzanne's got a, a nice little pair of ditties. Excuse me. And that's what David loves about her so much. Her little ditties or her medium size or even big ditties. So... Why yeah. not, instead of happy birthday, why don't we sing um, our own rendition of... One, two, three. For, for he's a jolly good pharaoh. For he's a jolly good pharaoh. For he's a jolly good pharaoh. And so say all of us. And so say all of us. And so say all of us. For he's a jolly good pharaoh. For he's a jolly good pharaoh. For he's a jolly good pharaoh. And so say all of us. Happy birthday, Mr. David. Yeah. Happy birthday, David. Have a wonderful day. Miss you already. Bye. See you in Sham. See you in Sham. Bye. Bye, guys. Do you know who I am? I am Lord David Fern. I am the owner of this establishment. No, I am the owner of this establishment. I think you're mistaken. No, you are. Morning. How are you? Uh, I don't know if you remember, the first time we met was in Grand Oasis, something like 15 years ago, maybe more. Uh, and then start our friendship. I wish you all the best. Happy birthday. Hello, David. I'm really very, very, very happy to have you in my life. We're sorry that we are not celebrating your birthday in a normal circumstances, however, we're still insisting to celebrate it in our way. The good thing that the uh, the new rule have created that all of us will be there for you, attending your birthday wireless with some videos. However, I'm very happy to participate in this. You really mean to me. I'm thanking God every day for having you in my life as a big brother over the last 20 years who might have a distance but still our hearts are joined our families are joined happy birthday david from stevie and kevin and honey we miss you so much and we are waiting to see you again
Hi David, just want to wish you a very happy 70th birthday. Hope you have a great day. Yeah. Um, lots of love. By the way, you're my favourite. Hi David, it's 18th of April, I know it's your birthday, happy birthday to you, I wish you all the best. Um, we haven't met since a long time of the lockdown and the circumstances uh, I'm hoping that they will ease this lockdown this summer so hopefully we can do something um, I wish you all the best and uh, say hi to Suzanne hi David I hear it's um, a special birthday so I put together a little poem which I think you might like so here's going here, here goes a little ode is a thing to treasure of good times past when we were small. We hope that this will give you pleasure and hope that you will read it all. A grand age I think you'll find as memories fade in these old domes. But Lanthony and Waverley come to mind of fun and games at both old homes. So many years have passed since then, days gone by of such good times. When we were young eight, nine or ten, dear mums and dads should join these rhymes. I bring this epistle to a close. So David, to you, we send our love. Alongside our good wishes this goes, and perhaps greetings from those above. Have a great day, mate, and we hope to look forward, we look forward to seeing you very soon. Chris sends her love as well. Happy birthday. Hello, David. <laughs> Are we recording? I'm a bit old. Cheers. I want to wish you a happy birthday. I hear you're going to be a bit old soon. I've got one of your former employees here who'd like to say hello. Happy birthday, Uncle David. Oh, Uncle David. <laughs> Those were the days. Do you remember, David? I'm supposed to send you good wishes and um, happy memories. The one memory I think I'll send you is the day that Barry, when we were in um, Los Angeles, when he got the tickets and he said he wanted three adults, four children and a senior and pointed at you. And we got them. And you were so upset because you were nine years younger than him. I remember that. What do you remember, Lara? Do you remember? Uh, too much I can't repeat. <laughs> yeah, some of the things we <laughs> remember, David. Because we've known you for over 40 years. So some of the things we can't we can't do here because they'd be X-rated, wouldn't they? They'd be X-rated, yeah. Apart from me stealing your flowers and what else can we do? Always a lot of things we can't say. Yeah. We remember your birthday because it's the same day as Alfie. Because Alfie will be 20 on the 18th. Not like you, 70, which is really old. And you do realise if Barry hadn't left us so suddenly, we'd have been celebrating his 80th next year. But there you go. Anyway, David, happy birthday to you, wherever you are. And we're not busy on the day of the party, are we? No, we'll be, no yeah. we can be there for that. So happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Hello, Hello David. David. We just, just wanted, wanted to wish you a very, very happy, happy birthday. birthday. So glad someone else has joined the Over 70s Club. Pity about the current restrictions, but we're sure you will have a great day. And hope you get to see all your family. Hope, hope you all keep well and happy and that, and that we, we get, get to see you before too long. Lots of love to you all. Bye, Bye for, for now. now. Bye. David, very, very warm wishes from me, from your Russian friend, on your special date. Although this date is special, but not as special as you are. And I hope all your wishes will come through. Hi, David. It's me again, the favourite child. You've already used that joke. Thank Hi, you, David. Hayley. It's Hayley. Happy 70th birthday. Um, I know we haven't known each other very long, but what I can say over the four years that I have known you is that you are... <laughs> no, you're very kind very generous and thank you for taking me on one of the best holidays ever to Dubai and hopefully there'll be many many more thank you for being an amazing stepfather to be and hope you have a very 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 happy birthday that was obviously a joke about <laughs>
FYI, in case I offended anybody. Um, firstly, very happy 70th birthday. Um, you are quite remarkable for a 70 year old man. You still have the sense of humour of a schoolboy, and that's probably one of the things I love most about you. Um, never too old to laugh about a dick joke. Um, thank you for being a fantastic stepfather um, to Lara and I. Um, it couldn't have been easy taking on somebody else's children, but we were always made to feel, um, you know, like we were yours, and we certainly never felt like we were anything but um, your children. So for that, I will forever be grateful. We've also worked together for nearly 15 years now. Um, it's remarkable that we haven't killed each other because we've come close several times and I'm sure we will continue to come close to killing each other, but I've learned a lot. And I think what we have achieved over the last 15 years and continue to achieve is pretty remarkable. Um, I will always be grateful for you giving me the opportunity you did um, to start my career and um, who knew it was going to turn into what it did and something that I've fallen in love with. Um, so yeah, for that I will be forever grateful. So enjoy your 70th birthday. Today is about you, so lap it up. Um, have a wonderful day and uh, we love you very much. I love you. Bye. Bye. David, happy, happy birthday. Be great when we can all get together and properly celebrate. Um, I can't wait. We always have great fun um and i shall look forward to that now this is a very special birthday for you you're catching me up you know um now somebody said to me once and uh, i always think it's quite a good little quote that always remember even though there is snow on the roof it doesn't mean the fire has gone out in the furnace so just hold that thought darling and it will keep you going happy birthday bye for now so I'm on the telly! Come quick! <laughs> Hi, David! Hi, Daddy! Many years ago, you brought into our hearts and that nothing, the Brexit, will change. We collected so many great memories through all those years. And that nothing, edge, will change. We can't be next to you for your very special day and that something we would have liked to change. But with all of our hearts, we wish you a wonderful birthday with all the goods you deserve and that you stay always the same. Yes, don't change. It's the way we love you. Always. Don't worry. Be happy. And don't forget life is C'est si bon, amashi amashu. <laughs> Dear David, we love you. <laughs> Hello, English brother. How are you? I sing very often about you, and I sing also. You live very far of of us, of me, and but very close in my heart. I wish you a very, very, very happy birthday. Hi David, happy birthday from Rock. We wish you were here with us. Uh, haven't seen you for a while. It's almost two years since you've been here before, but we wanted to wish you a very happy birthday and sorry we're not going to be seeing you on the day, um, but look forward to celebrating something with you um, in the not too di distant future. Okay, and it's happy birthday from me too. Missing seeing you. Uh, I hope you have a lovely day, old mate. It's um, been a pleasure to have you here and I'm looking forward very much to the potential of rebooking our trip to Capri. Having got our money back, we should <laughs> spend it wisely again and look forward to you booking up your lovely uh, accommodation there as well so we can share some fun time. In the meantime, we have a great day. Hope you have a lovely day with uh, your family, as many of them as uh, are allowed. And uh, I know that they'll all spoil you. You need spoiling. You deserve it. Lots of love from us. And lots of love for me too. And look forward to the next Family Day celebration. Bye for now. Take care. Bye. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear David! Happy birthday to you! Hey! 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 H
happy birthday to you. I wish you only happiness and comfort in this life and I hope God give you many, many more birthdays and every birthday will be filled with a lot of presents, friends, fun, drinks, cakes, candles, whatever you wish on your birthday. Candles, Mr. David. You're going to have a lot of candles today. Be careful, you might have big blowout tonight in the house. <laughs> Also, I want to thank you for being such a good friend to me and my family over many years. And, you know, actually, I'm a little bit jealous. You had so many birthday parties. I never had so many. It means you had more presents in your life. <laughs> but, you know, I'm joking, of course. Anyway, have a lot of fun today and leave a piece of cake for me because I'm going to get it right now. Hi, David. Um, I've been asked to do a short video to wish you a happy 70th. But obviously there's been a mistake because you can't possibly be 70. You're still too gorgeous. Uh, anyway, I hope you have an amazing day. Let's catch up again soon. Lots of love for now. Hilary. Hi there, David and Suzanne, of course. Well, it's time to wish David a happy birthday. I've known David over 60 years now and I've taught him everything I know about fishing. We never caught anything, but I, I know that we always did our best and he did go on and become quite a good fisherman. He owes me so much, so much. Now, when I first met him with Sissy, she said to me, this is my dear little nephew, David. I said, well, he looks an ugly little bugger. And she said, well, you're the first one to say that. And of course, now, he still looks a fishy little bugger. Anyway, I wish him a happy day. He's had a good life. And I've ordered lots of razor blades to get rid of all that fungus. I wish him well. Happy birthday, David. All the best. Hi, David. Big 7 -0. Hope you have a lovely day and it's a little bit better than when you were my partner at Bridge and our opposite players went to a Grand Slam. You doubled, they redoubled, they lost. Big walkout, all the fault of the player on my right hand side. Oh, very good, glorious laugh we had. Hope you have a lovely day and hope to catch up with you soon. Goodbye. Excuse me. Please will you give me that diet coke? Thank you. You, you, can I have that glass please? Thank you. Hi David. A happy birthday to you. I'm not so good on speaking on these so anything you don't understand you'll just have to guess well as you can see i haven't yet had my needed haircut i've already booked for next week i can't wait now so when suzanne asked for a video for your birthday i thought well how do i start i've known you so long there's always been something going on. I always, when I'm out and about, and certain things that remind me of things we've done in the past. Well, I suppose my earliest memory of you was your outstanding performance as Drake the Peg. But I don't think nowadays you'd admit to doing a Rolf Harrison brush. <laughs> um, Obviously, I then rem always remember being in your front room listening to Pretty Flamingo by Manfred Mann and your your mum running up and down outside chatting, Oh, Ron! I always, I always remember she that was always a cry for everything it was, Oh, Ron! But... Anyway, what did we do after that? Oh, yeah, we obviously we did lots of odds and sods, but the main thing I remember is Church Farm 
and the always going down there in your Triumph Herald with the top down, even if it was bloody freezing, because you thought it looked cool. And the cornfields there got such a flattening that I'm surprised you would never harvest it. You spent so much time there. But anyway, it was good fun. I remember going to the club and Corker there being a sort of bouncer and the band was doing Sweet Violets. But no, anyway, it's good fun. I enjoyed it. Although, incidentally, while we're on a church farm, I'll never forgive you for those twins, if you remember. Um, but anyway, that was a great time. I suppose then you put your first wedding after that. And then I remember being, oh, I can't remember it was before your second wedding or before. I remember going out on the boat and I remember at Houghton Bridge particularly, I, we were mining on the middle of the river to a pole. The boat got put in reverse and left me hanging on this pole in the middle of the river. And I remember Jenny Mont's mother, who was then bank, was in absolute hysterics. I did <laughs> in retrospect I found it funny, but I was a bit worried at the time. Then you got obviously there are other things I kept popping in and out the shop in Bogner. I'm sure it was a real pain in the arse. But anyway. I remember that really well and Hatcher there. And I think that's where you met, well, I know that's where you met your second wife, Debbie, because she worked at the beautician and got the doors away. Um, what did we do then? Oh, I remember lots of things I mean that we did over the years like doing that wonderful do at your place in Kent's Farm when you were married to Angela uh, for the PTA when we got burgers from that I think it was Chris in Chichester and barbecued them when it was a really good night I always remember that um Anyway, I I don't know where to, where to stop and start. I mean, obviously, you met... I remember it was wonderful. I really had enjoyed going out on the Ellen's boat fishing. That was great. And uh, what else do I remember? Also, I remember before your first marriage and after church farm, Always going to Andrews. I was then going at the Les, and I was incidentally punching well by my weight. And I always remember you having prawn curry with extra sauce. <laughs> anyway, there's so many memories. All I can say is I hope you have a really happy birthday and see you after this bloody lockdown's finished. Uh, take care and have a great day. See you soon. Bye. Happy very, birthday, David. Very happy birthday, David. You've you've reached seventy. That's good. I'm hoping to catch you in a couple of months' time. <laughs> <laughs> and also, David, I'd like to thank you because thirty-seven or thirty-eight years ago, you introduced me to this man, and I've still got him here by my side. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> <laughs> But also, Tim, yeah. I don't know how, I can't actually remember how long I've known you for, but I remember coming round to your small house on the Aldrich Bay Estate, oh, must be probably over 50 years ago now, and having supper with you. 
Very nice it was too, if I remember rightly, as it always is with you, because we always eat far too much. <laughs> Do you remember our trips down to the West Country, just me and you with the two children? Uh, and what was for breakfast? Well, the first thing for breakfast was to walk down to the dairy and get the clotted cream, which went on the cornflakes. <laughs> uh, plus, there was many, many other things. Plus, when you outdid me, uh, catching mackerel, I'm sure it's made up. You've got over a hundred mackerel. Can you believe that? <laughs> He's you very read the papers. He's very mackerel. famous, your dad, children. Yeah. Very famous. He's in the Timoth Express. Yeah, love that. Off. <laughs> and then, David, all the lovely times we've had skiing with the children and the wonderful holidays we've had together in the sunshine and enjoying wonderful food that we all love very much. And also, it's lovely to have such wonderful friends. David and Suzanne, we always get on with you. We always feel comfortable in your company. And we feel it's really, really nice to celebrate your birthday. Yeah, have a good one. And we'll be thinking of you. And see you, was it a week later? A week later. Yeah. To, for another celebration, David. Have a wonderful time. Yeah, enjoy it. Happy birthday. Love to all the family. Yeah, all the children, everybody there, loved you all. Happy birthday. Yeah, yeah. many of them. Many of them to come. Don't work too hard either. Otherwise you won't have so many to come. Slow down a bit. Okay? Enjoy your retirement if you can. Bye. Happy birthday, David. And thank you for helping me make James one of the most kind, loving, handsome, beautiful sons in the world. Keep, keep it going, keep ha it going. Keep happy birthday. And do, do some more. also, um, when I walk along Climping Beach, I remember all the lovely times we had together riding our boys along the sand there. Happy birthday. Happy 70th birthday, birthday, David. David. Hello, David. Here I am on the Gold Coast wishing you a happy 70th birthday. Now Susan has asked me to pack our 50 years, well 49 we've known each other since I came to Bognor, into 60 seconds. That's a total impossibility for you, David, to pack it into that time. I would need an hour for every day of your life. But fortunately, I've been away for the last 30 years, so I can't speak for those, but I can speak for the days and weeks that I've known you. It's always been a pleasure, always been great to have your company. And to be honest with you, I've never been able to replace my friends here with the friends I had in England. It's something you just can't do. But the weather is so tempting. And as you can see, the view is also very tempting from here. This is actually a picture from my new unit, which I do not yet own, but will do by the end of the month. This is where I'm gonna spend my retirement. So David, what about the future? I'm five years in front of you, and when I got to 70, I realized that I had more years behind me than I did in front. But don't let's get pessimistic about what's in front. The actuaries will tell you that at 70, you've got another, on average, 6.8 years to live. Now you and I both know that we're not average. So the question is, is where do we end up? Well, I'll tell you where we end up, where we want to end up. Take it easy, have a great retirement, and this is a happy birthday, or happy 70th day, from me on the Gold Coast, Australia. Take care, mate. Hi, it's me again. I just meant to say that amongst all the things we did, we used to would believe go to church, the Methodist church. They had like a I suppose it's a Bible class. But the reason we went was because there were some nice girls there. And I believe David's had his hut set at one. Susan Fenner, I think she was called, who's luckily for me had a friend as well. But anyway, after it, it was finally successful. I don't remember it ever again again, which is typical of David. He spent all this time looking 
trans gov to girls. But anyway, that's there's so many other things that I think of, mostly related to David and women. So anyway, have a happy birthday again, David. And I hope to see you soon. Quick! We've run out of gas! Order some more gas! Everybody order gas! Hi David, it's me again, the favourite child. You've used that joke already. You're supposed to cut me off as I'm saying child. <laughs> so I'm saying. Maybe we just don't say that at all. Hi David, it's me again, the favourite child. <laughs> Why aren't you doing it? When do you want me to say it? Uh, just as, as I'm saying child, just literally get in there as I'm saying. Ch okay. Cut me off straight away. As soon as you hear me say the word favourite, you'll be like, you've already said this. Okay. Hi, David. It's me again, Nathan, the favourite child. You already used that. Oh, for God's sake. Why do you keep saying it I after don't us? Know, I don't know. I don't I can't get the time right. Uh. You know what I'm saying? The, the. So say the. Just so you've already used this joke. Okay. Don't wait till I've said the favourite child and then turn to me two seconds later. As I say the, just so you've already used it. <coughs> Okay?